Before we finish talking about molarity, there's one more type of problem I want to tackle. I want to see how molarity can show up in a stoichiometry problem. So let's take a look at this example. I'm going to put 0.875 grams of aluminum in a solution of hydrobromic acid. That's going to be a 6 molar solution of hydrobromic acid and I'm going to use 14.8 milliliters of it. I would like to know what mass of aluminum bromide will be produced. So first things first, we have to write a balanced equation. Always the first thing to do in a stoichiometry problem. Aluminum is simply Al, and that's going to be a solid. Hydrobromic acid is HBr, and that's aqueous. What we set up here is a single replacement reaction. The aluminum is going to knock out the hydrogen and make aluminum bromide. So that means the hydrogen is going to be by itself. So that's hydrogen, but hydrogen's diatomic, so that's H2, and hydrogen's a gas. And for the aluminum bromide, aluminum forms a plus 3 charge as an ion, and bromine forms a minus 1 charge. So aluminum bromide is AlBr3, and if you look at your solubility rules, aluminum bromide is aqueous. It's a soluble solution. We're not balanced here, because I've got two hydrogens and three bromines here. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to need six hydrobromic acids and that will allow me to put three hydrogens and two aluminum bromides to balance those out, which then forces me to put a two over here. So there's my balanced equation. Second step, I'm going to convert to moles. Well, I have 0 0.875 grams of aluminum. And the molar mass of aluminum is 27 grams. So one mole is equivalent to 27 grams. And cancel out my grams. And that gives me 0 0.0324 moles of aluminum. I can also convert my hydrobromic acid into moles because I know the molarity and I know the volume, right? We remember that molarity is moles per liter. So if I take my molarity and multiply it by my liters, that will give me my number of moles. So I can say I have 6.00 molar, 6.00 moles per liter times, now I can't use 14.8 milliliters here because I have liters, I'm going to want that in liters, so I'm going to write this as 0 0.0148 liters. That way my units cancel out, and I'm left with 0 0.0888 moles of HBr. So first step, balanced equation. Second step, we've converted the moles. I have information about both reactants, so now I need to find my limiting reactant. Get a little more space on the workbook. So I'm going to do an if-then statement. I'm going to say if I have, and I'll pick aluminum, 0 0.0324 moles of aluminum. Then I have a 6 to 2 ratio between my reactants. So I have 6 HBr for every two aluminums. I can actually simplify that. I can say 3 HBr for every one aluminum. So that means I'm going to need 0, 0.0 972 moles of HBr. Well, I don't have 0 0.0972 moles of HBr. I only have 0 0.0888 moles of HBr. So that's going to make my HBr the limiting reactant, which means I'm going to have an excess of aluminum. Now that we have the limiting reactant, we can then proceed to our final answer here. The question is asking what mass of aluminum bromide will be produced. So I'm going to use my limiting reactant to predict how much product is made. So I have 0 0.0888 moles of HBr, my limiting reactant. And the ratio between the product I'm looking for and my limiting reactant is 2 to 6, or 1 to 3. There is 1. ALBR3 for every 3 HBr. 
So that means I am going to make 0 0.0296 moles of aluminum bromide. And the question asks for mass, however. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to convert this to grams. I can take my 0 0.0296 moles of aluminum bromide and multiply it by the molar mass, which is 266.7 grams for every one mole. So if I multiply that by my number of moles, I can cancel out my moles here and I get an answer of 7.89 grams of aluminum bromide. So there's a lot here, but most of this is work that we've done in the past. We started out by writing a balanced equation. That was our first step. We then took our data and converted to moles. So we took the mass of aluminum and converted to moles, and then we took the concentration of the hydrobromic acid, multiplied it by its volume, making sure that our units are in liters so that they cancel out, and found the moles of my solute of HBr. So that's the new stuff. That's the stuff that has to do with this particular unit. After we converted the moles, we found the limiting reactant. I like to do this if-then statement. And then I used the limiting reactant to predict the moles of product, and then took my moles of product and converted to grams.